Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy. Today we're going to check out the Grease Goblin Bundle, which at long last, I mean, we do have a new car that you can decorate the camp with, as well as a workbench, which I guess kind of is like an extra car you can decorate with. Of course, the bundle itself comes with an outfit, a backpack, the workbench, the rusted car, backpack flare, all that good stuff, but let's actually hop into the world and see what they look like. So, let me purchase this and we'll check it out. First up, we'll check out the outfit, the backpack, and the backpack flare. Just kind of get them out of the way. The outfit, it does look pretty freaking cool. Alright, I'll give it that. Backpack, also pretty neat. Not quite my thing, but definitely pretty cool. But let me turn the mannequin around so we can get the backside nice and lit up. Get a little better view with the backpack and the flare. Which kind of made it look like I had Mr. Fuzzy uh, logos on my butt cheeks. But, I mean, hey. Uh, I feel like eventually that's going to be a thing in this game. But here we go. The car. Alright, this was the first thing that jumped out to me. Because... That's freaking cool. My, my only uh, little thing about it is, why do we always have to get cars that are up on, you know, cinder blocks? I mean, that, I don't know. Would it kill them to have tires on there? Uh, let's see, so the interior, all right, not too bad. Um, well, I mean, it is bad, but bad in a good way. I can definitely see this showing up in a bunch of camps, but let's let's uh let's kind of break it and see what happens, cause you never know. Maybe there's a different variant when it's destroyed. Okay, so how many people expected it to blow up? Kind of caught me off guard. I'm so used to the way all the other camp items break that I, I forgot that there's a handful that would just straight explode on you. We'll get that repaired, and we'll move it out of the way, and then we'll move on to the workbench. Ah, oh, and there we go. What a little detail to it, I like that. The only thing that kind of takes away from it for me is the blue and yellow. I know, vault tech and all that, but I don't... It, I don't know, when you, you start putting it on too much stuff, I don't know, it feels like it, it just, it detracts from all of it. I mean, Coca-Cola exists, but we don't have uh, a ridiculous, well, I mean, I guess we do have a, a ridiculous amount of Coca-Cola type stuff, but I don't know. I, I don't feel like it's quite on the scale of vault tech related stuff. Overall, though, okay, now that, that part is pretty freaking cool that it will lift the car up. I, I know a few people that are probably going to integrate that into their build. Finally upgrade their mechanic shops and whatnot. So that that's going to be a must-have for some camp builds. They're, they're definitely going to want this one. But let's kind of reset this area up and then we'll maybe we blow up the workbench and see if anything happens with that i mean i don't think anything unique happens uh when you blow up the workbench but for science we'll blow it up and yeah that kind of to be expected but hey you gotta try how else would we know I'm gonna grab this little mannequin dude and throw him back over here. So, bro, there's some really cool stuff in the bundle, but at the same time, it might not be for all people. So, the real question is is it worth 1500 atoms? Oh, it's kind of a toss up here. The workbench is super cool. I love the rusted car, the outfit's pretty cool. But it's just a matter of may, maybe wait till some of it's on sale or, you know, just get a few pieces. But that's going to wrap this one up. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like, sub, and share later.